started writing Sophie Says after giving birth to my son and becoming a first time mum just over two years ago and feeling this ultimate sense of responsibility. I couldn't find what I wanted to read to him. In children's literature, there's such a lack of female role models and any form of diversity. I thought, okay, why don't I try and write what I want to tell him, teach him that he will come across people that don't speak like him and look like him, show him gender portrayals that may not be stereotypical to some of the things he may be seeing, and to help him understand that. With the first book, I feel it's trusted. People see that they're, they're growing with the characters and really loving Sophie. The idea of the second book, Sophie Says Okay Not To Be Okay, came about when, tragically, my younger sister, who had been suffering from mental health for the past six years, decided that um, she couldn't take it any longer and ended her life at the beginning of this year. The writing process of this book has been something that has helped my grief and been my grieving process. And it's a lot of the messages that when I was speaking to her about mental health and mental illness that she wanted other people to know, especially children, it's okay not to be okay. The second book was launched on Global Mental Health Day, purely because that is when a lot of people are talking about this message and where we wanted to amplify it. One of the main reasons why I've written this book is because so many parents were saying to me, we know it's an important topic to speak about, but we don't know how to bring it up with our children. This book provides a toolkit whereby parents who may not feel as comfortable talking about these issues can do by using the words in the book. You need to be kind, you don't know what's going on in someone's mind. It's okay not to be okay. And I think it's the responsibility of our, our governments, our schools and at home to teach our children about what a positive mental health space is, but also how if you don't look after that, what can happen. Understanding and explaining what those feelings are and how you can talk about them and make you feel better. I absolutely love reading the books to children. It's okay not to be okay. I actually learn so much from children and what they say to you, how they think about things as well, which then goes into how you write the books. Right, yeah, what animals can you say? It's a giraffe, it's nice. That human connection of sitting with children and reading the book and them understanding that it's okay not to be okay is fantastic. Two, three. You are not. Right, you are, and then that makes you feel better done readings for different Instagram accounts, live links in with schools and hospitals that basically can get the messages across in different kinds of ways. I was honoured to be able to sit with Harry and Meghan. The meeting was put together by the Queen's Commonwealth Trust that bring together young leaders that are creating movements and doing great things. We were specifically on that day talking about creating equal opportunities, gender equality and mental health which are three topics that the Sophie Says series covers in leaps and bounds. Afterwards, Megan spoke to us and gave us some real wise words, and that's where Megan, the elder sister in the book, came from. People have sent really encouraging, really positive messages from parents, teachers, educators, saying how much this is needed and how it's helped them and, and their family grow. So I can only hope that the second book does that even more. Life is hectic. Um, it's very busy. I go from work me to book me to mum me, but they all kind of tie in to the same thing that I say to myself, which is my purpose, which is I would like to make the world a better place for the next generation. In the future, I would love for Sophie Says to become the trusted brand that parents go to when they want to teach their children the important lessons in life, but in a fun and authentic way. I hope that Sophie Says helps children to bypass harmful stereotypes and for us to ensure that we can make life's most important lessons fun to learn.